see you. I'm so excited for today's lesson. Hope you had the chance to review our worship song and you learned some of the moves, right? We're going to um, play that song on our Zoom meet this Thursday. But right now, I want you to look what I'm doing right here. I am going to use the sand to fix this road. Hmm. Actually, it reminds me of a story. Not only a story, but a character that prepared the way for people to get to know about Jesus. And the story goes like this. Hundreds and hundreds years ago, a man named Isaiah wrote that somebody will come and prepare the way for Jesus' arrival. He was talking about John the Baptist. Actually, his nickname was John the Baptist because he baptized people. His real name was John. Interesting fact, he lived on the wilderness for a long time until he was ready to go out from the wilderness and tell people about Jesus' love. He told people that God's love was so big that he was going to send his only son to die for us and give us eternal life. Get away, kids. Baptism is what we do when we decide to follow Jesus. One day, Jesus came to John and told him to baptize him. And something really, really cool happened. The Spirit of God came upon them on a form of a dough. Actually, the story is in the Bible in Matthew chapter 3, Mark chapter 1, and John chapter 1. We're going to read Matthew chapter 3. It says, In those days, John the Baptist came to the Judean wilderness and began preaching. His message was, Repent of your sins and turn to God, for the kingdom of heaven is near. The prophet Isaiah was speaking about John when he said, He is a voice shouting in the wilderness, Prepare the way for the Lord's coming. Clear the road for him. John's clothes were woven from coarse camel hair, and he wore a leather belt around his waist. For food, he ate locusts and wild honey. People from Jerusalem and from all Judea and all over the Jordan Valley went out to see and hear John. I'm going to go all the way to verse 11, and it says, I baptize with water those who repent of sins and turn to God. But someone is coming soon who is greater than I am, so much greater that I am not worthy even to be his slave and carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. He is ready to separate the chaff from wheat with his winnowing fork. Then he will clean up the threshing area, gathering the wheat into his barn, but burning the chaff with never-ending fire. Wow, this is the story that I was talking to you about in our timeline. But let me tell you this. John the Baptist was being obedient to what the Lord told him to do. And I think today, Gateway Kids, we have to do the same. We can be obedient. We know the Word of God. And I'm going to teach you the Bible verse. Ready? So let's learn our memory verse, which is in John 3.30. He must increase and I must decrease. Let's do it again. He must increase and I must decrease. You can tell the person that is next to you, he must increase and I must decrease. All right. This key passage actually is from the Gospel of John, but it was spoken by John the Baptist, a different John than the man who wrote that book of the Bible. John the Baptist was reminding people who had followed him, that he was not important. He was pointing to Jesus. With Jesus around, John wanted to become less important and let Jesus get the glory and the attention he deserves. So that concludes our class. Let's pray. Let's bow our heads and pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for this time. Thank you for showing us, Lord, that we are not important, God, that we have the opportunity to point to you and that you have prepared the way through your son, Jesus Christ, so we can be closer to you. 
Lord, help us as kids to be able to share this with anyone, Lord, around us, that we could tell them that you must increase and we must decrease. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And the kids say, Amen. Yay. So I'm going to explain this really fast. This worksheet actually is on our website. This is for first through third grade. You just connect the dots right here. And up in the back, there's a coloring page. This page, actually, it's a journal page. You have to answer these questions. And um, it's, for, it's for kids from fifth, fourth grade and fifth grade. And in the back is baptism words and you have to go and look the words on the verses from me that's all i hope to see you soon have an awesome week and just don't forget to join us on our zoom meet this thursday at 6 30. bye